The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalo Valyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Tita Blanche Ayuvia, a mathematics teacher. So we'll move straight forward to looking at the correction of the assignment of the previous lesson. Question, find the coordinates of the points where the straight line y equal to 3x plus 6 meets the circle, 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 16x plus 8y equal to 60. Is the line tangential to the circle? Okay, so the equation of the circle has to be simplified and we'll have x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y equal to 30. And now we have the two equations. We want to look for the point of intersection of this line and this circle. So we have to solve the two equations simultaneously. And solving the two equations simultaneously, we substitute equation two into equation one, where equation two is the, or is the rearranged form of the line. So you have x squared plus 3x plus 6, all that squared minus 8x plus 4 into 3x plus 6 equal to 30. Simplifying that equation, we are going to obtain a quadratic equation. Now, this quadratic equation has to be solved to come out with the values of x. But going forward, when you look at the quadratic equation and the factors we already have, it already tells you that that equation has real distinct roots. And that should already tell you something about the next part of the question, which asks that, is the line tangential to the circle? Now, let us complete the question. We have simplifying the, 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 the quadratic equation, 10x squared plus 40x plus 30 equal to zero. We have x to be equal to negative one and x to be equal to negative three, meaning that we are going to have two points, two points. And if x equal to negative one, substituting x equal to negative one in equation two, you will have negative 3 plus 6, giving y to be 3. And if x is equal to negative 3, y will be equal to 3. So we have two points that are the points of intersection of the line and the circle. It means the line intersects the point at two different points. Now the next part of the question says, is the line tangential to the circle? Of course not, because for the line to be tangential to the circle, it has to touch the circle at one particular point. So therefore, the line is not a tangent to the circle. So that was, the, that, was that for the assignment. We continue with lessons under plane geometry and solid figures. And we are still with the subtopic circle geometry which will be followed by complex numbers, vectors, integration, first order differential equations with separable variables, 
location of the roots of any equation, and lastly, the curve sketching. Now, under circle geometry, we have as topics the length of a tangent from an external point to a circle. Remember, we are, we, this is a continuation of lessons because we already had the first set of the 10 lessons. Now we continue with the 11th to the 20th. Finding the coordinates of the points of intersection of a circle and a line. The equation of a circle through the points of intersection of two given circles and a point. Finding the points of intersection of two circles. Condition for circles to touch. Equation of a circle that passes through the point of intersection of a given straight line and a circle. 17, the locus of a point. 18, radical axis of two circles. 19, equation of circle that touches the coordinate axis. And lastly, equation of a circle passing through two points and its center lies on a line. So we move straight to the topic of today, titled Equation of Circles, through the points of intersection of two given circles. Equation of a circle or equation of circles through the points of intersection of two given circles. As planned for the lesson, as usual, we have the objectives, prerequisites, real life situation, learning activity, recall, application exercise, and the assignment. Now, as objective, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the equation of a circle given, given that it passes through the points of intersection of two other circles and given another point. So you should be able to do that, to bring out the equation of a circle in that condition. Then for the prerequisite, you are expected to have, or you are expected to know how to carry out expansion of algebraic expressions and simplify them. So let us test the prerequisite. Solve for alpha in the equation. So you have the equation. 2x plus 3y minus 1 plus alpha into 3x minus 4y minus 6 equal to 0 when x is 3 and y is 2. So to look for alpha there, the equation has been given. That is equation 1. To look for alpha, and they're giving us when x is, when x and y has been given. So what we do is we substitute the values of x in the equation, given that x is 3, y is 2. So you simply substitute x in the equation. 2 times 3 gives 6. 3 times 2 gives 6 minus 1 plus alpha into 3 times 3 is 9 minus 8. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 6, which is equal to 0. There should be an error in the equation there. Good. So we're supposed to have a 4 times y, not 4 times x. So it's supposed to be alpha into 3x minus 4 times y. 4y, not 4x. So that's why we're supposed to have here 4 times 2, actually, the value of y is 2. Good. So substituting 2 there, we're supposed to have 4 times 2, which is 8, minus 6 equal to 0. So simplifying that, we're going to have the value of alpha to be 11 on 5. So we move on to the real life situation. As usual, we are going to read through the question, and at the end of the lesson, we will look at it together. So I read the question. Pay attention as I read. The CEO of a certain construction company created a password to open his laptop such that if he forgets the password, the system could remind him of it 
by the statement, a question of a circle passing through the points of intersection of the circles S1 and S2. What is the CEO's password? We're going to look at it at the end of the lesson. Now let us go straight forward to the learning activity. Study the diagram in the next slide and provide answers to the questions that follow. Now we move on to the diagram. Now if you can see two circles that are intersecting. You have S1, this is S1, and S2. These two circles are intersecting at, a particular, at two particular points there. Now look at what's going to be happening. We have another circle coming up and you think another circle is still coming and intersecting those other circles at those two points. We have other circles again. You see, there are possibilities of bringing in so many circles that will intersect or will pass through those two points where the two circles, S1 and S2, they are intersecting. And they are all intersecting at the point T and S. I hope we're taking note of the diagram. Two circles given that are intersecting at two particular points. And a possibility of having so many other circles that are intersecting at that same particular point or are passing through that same particular that are passing through the points of intersection of those two circles. So we have now as instructions to follow for the activity. We are given that let S1, they are given an equation, this equation to represent the first circle that we had, and this other equation to represent the second equation, or to, to represent the second circle. So we have the circles S1 and S2. Let them be the equations of circles that intersect at the point T and S. Do you remember that all the two circles intersected at the point T and S. And so, at the point T and S, if we solve the two equations, the equation of the circle, the two circles, simultaneously, we will be expecting to place on gymnasty to come out with the, with the, uh, the values or the coordinates of the point T and S. Or when we said when two circles meet, at the point where they meet, we can solve them simultaneously. So looking now at the activity, the first step says, work out the following. It means I will have to add the two equations, S1 plus S2. And I would love to take down the equations for S1 plus Y plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C equal to 0 and S2 X2 squared plus Y2 squared plus 2PX plus 2QY plus K equal to 0. Now, so we have here 2, 2, 1, 1. All right, so we follow the first step of the exercise, which says, add, we are adding S1 plus S2. Now, if you add S1 plus S2 here, you see that you're going to have this plus this, this plus this, this plus this. And so if you ask that, sorry, I'm already going solving the question. Let us have all the steps before we go to working out the exercise. So we go to the next step, which says, what do you observe from what you have done? Now draw a conclusion from your observation. Solution, the first one, S1 plus S2. Now, if we add S1 plus S2, you discover that we're going to have 
x squared plus 2, y squared plus 2 into, now, two, this x, this x here actually, actually represents x1 plus x1 squared plus x2 squared. That was done just to simplify the space, to economize space. So this x here is adding this and this to give us that. If we add x squared one plus that. No, actually it's supposed to be just x squared one plus x, x one squared plus x two squared. Then this will give us y one squared plus y two squared. But technically, if you look at it, the difference here is just the quote, this x1, this 1 and 2 here. So technically, we can sum them because they are like terms. They will be like terms because the coefficient here will be different from the coefficient here. And so adding them, we can actually come out that way. Let's just say 2x squared plus 2y squared. I hope it is clear. The x there should not confuse you. The x here and here should not confuse you in the equation. Because I said, the difference there will just be the coefficients. The terms will be the same. So we can remember to add. So if we add that, we have 2x squared plus 2y squared. And we're going to have 2 into. Now, when we come here, you have this plus this. 2 is common. You factor out 2, you'll be having g x1 p x2. So you see, factorize it. The same identity comes out. You see that you have x2 here, x1 and x2 here. This x1 and x2, they are the same. The only difference comes in at the level of the coefficients. So that is why here now you have 2 into g plus p, all that times x, plus 2 into f plus q. The same thing happens here. 2 into f plus q. Now here we're having y. Where we're considering that this y1 and y2 are the same. The difference comes in at the level of their coefficients. So plus the constant terms. And when you look at that equation now, you see that we have obtained the equation of a circle. Going forward, we look at S1 plus 2 times S2. Now in the next step, we have multiplied s2 by 2 it means that we multiply everything here by 2 all this by 2 so you have this plus this is going to give us 3x squared i hope you understand why we're having x i've explained why we're having just x there so if we simplify that we're going to have 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 6 into g plus p x 6 because you have 2 6 you have 2 times 2, 4. 4 plus 2 gives 6. And the, the same thing will happen the other way. 2 times 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. And then the k, 2 times k. So you have c plus 2k. So that is the next equation. And when you look at the equation keenly, this equation is still represents the equation of a second. We continue. S1 plus 3 times S2, the same procedure is going to be carried out here, where you have to have now 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 8 into g plus px plus 8 into f plus qy plus c plus 3k equal to 0. What do you observe? What's our observation so far? We've discovered that when you take S1 and you add to S2, you obtain the equation of another circle. You take S1 plus 2 times s2, you will obtain the equation of a circle. And if we should continue in that form, s1 plus something times s2, we will still get the equation of a circle. So the resulting equations are all equations of circles. That is the observation. Now, what is the conclusion we can draw from that? We can obtain any other circle passing through T and S 
where T and S are the points of intersection of S1 and S2 by using the formula S1. Remember, we have, we took S1 plus S2. It gave us a circle. We took S1 plus 2 times S2. It gave us the question of a circle. We took now S1 plus 3 times S2. Give us a circle of a circle. If we continue in that form and we take S1 plus, let's call it, let's bring in a parameter called lambda times S2. This formula will always give us the equation of a circle. This one should be equal to zero. This will always give us the equation of a circle, provided that this lambda should never be equal to negative one. Provided that this lambda should never be equal to negative one. We are going to look at the reason why lambda should not be negative one. So we have as recall, all circles that can be drawn passing through the point of intersection of two given circles are called family of circles passing through the point of intersection of the two given circles. All those other so many circles that were passing through that point of intersection T and C, we call them a family of circles. The equation of the family of circles. Now, to get that family of circles, how can we get the family of circles? We can get the family of circles passing through the points of intersection of S1 and S2 by using the formula S1 plus lambda S2 equal to zero. As I earlier mentioned, that lambda, as you can see display on the screen, the lambda should never be equal to negative one. Why? Because if lambda is equal to negative one, if lambda is equal to negative one, now let's take for example, substitute lambda to be equal to negative one. It means that we have S1 minus S2. And if S1 minus S if we have S1 minus S2, it means we are subtracting these two equations. And take note, as I earlier said, the difference here is just the coefficient, but the coefficient here is one. Here is one, 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 one. The x here, they are the same. The x are the same. Therefore, if I'm subtracting these two equations, you see that this one will take the radius one. This will take the radius one. And you will be left with something like, let me say, you have ax plus by plus let me say t equal to this is what you are going to be left with which will no longer be the equation of a circle you would rather obtain a straight line if you take lambda to be negative one so lambda should never be negative one so given that s1 and s2 equal to that what i'm displaying on the screen is just the explanation of what we have done on the board so the equation, the, 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 the equation of the family of circles will be, you write the first equation, plus you now put lambda into the second equation, equal to zero. Note, the two equations of circles given must be in the general form, very important, in the general form, with coefficients of quadratic terms being unity. I hope now you are not saying it clearly. With the coefficient be one, be unity before carrying out the operation. So now we look at the application exercise. Find the equation of the circle which passes through the point of intersection of the circles. We have the, the equation. We have the first equation. This is the first equation and the second equation and to the point four one. We want to look for the equation of the circle. And we said the family of circles can be obtained
The family of Seikos can be obtained by putting lambda. You have the first equation, you write the first equation, plus lambda into the second equation equal to zero. Now, they have given us a point at the point 4, 1. So what we'll do here is x is 4, y is 1. We substitute the values of x and y in this equation to get the value of lambda. And if we should do that, we're going to obtain 4 squared plus 1 squared minus 6 into 4 minus 1 plus 4 plus lambda into all of that. That is, we have substituted the values of 4 there, 4, uh, the values of x and the values of y. And if we simplify all of that equation, we are going to obtain lambda to be 1 on 12. Now, what do we do with this lambda? Remember, we have been asked to look for circles. They have given us two circles, two circles, and a point. The point was 4, 1. They have said, at this point, look for the circle that will pass through the point of intersection of those two given circles at this point. Therefore, after we have substituted the values of x and y, we have come out with the value of lambda. We will have now to take the value of lambda and go back to that equation that we had and substitute the value of lambda. Look at the position of lambda now. It has been occupied by the value of lambda 1 over 12. And so we have to now simplify all of this. Remember, they have, we have like terms. Here, we're going to collect like terms. Look at, we have x squared and x squared. We have y squared, y squared. 6x, 7x, y, 4y, and the constant terms. So we simply add each term, each like term. And adding them or simplifying, we're going to obtain. Now, it has been simplified because we have multiplied all through now by 12 so that we can deal away with that fraction. So multiplying the whole equation by 12, you will have 12 times the first equation plus, now we have one times all of that. Adding the coefficient, you see that we have 12x squared up here and x squared, that's why we have 13x squared. 12y squared plus y squared gives us 13y squared. Negative 6 times 12 plus 7 will give us negative 60, 65x and negative 12 y plus 4y will give us negative 8y and 4 times 12 plus negative 1 that's minus 1 will give us 47 and this is clearly the equation of a circle and we have arrived at the required answer the equation of a circle that passes through the points of intersection of the two circles given and the point 4 1 that is the equation. Now we look at the second question. Find the equation of a circle which passes through the point of intersection of the circles. They have been given the two circles. This is the, this is the first circle and this is the second circle. Now we were told and then add through the point 0, 1. The point given is 0, 1. We were told that to work out this thing, you have to write the equation in the general form. We that all these, these two equations have to be written in the general form. And rendering them in the general form, you have x minus 4 other squared plus y squared equal to 9 will be written in the form x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 7 equal to 0. Making sure that this term, x squared and y squared, are having the coefficient 1, 1. So, the equation of family of circles is given by, so we take the first circle, x squared plus y squared minus 9, minus 9, y, because we had, it was given as x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So, if you carry 9 to the side of the equation, you have x squared plus y squared minus 9 equal to 0. So, this is the part you are taking as a first question, the first circle. And the other circle now, which was what we have obtained above here, you now put times lambda. So substitute the values of x and y to obtain the value of lambda. You see that lambda equal to 1. 
and lambda equal to 1, we go back to the initial equation and we substitute the value of lambda, giving us the equation of the circle, the required equation of the circle. And so we have the circle. By simplifying that, dividing all through by 2, we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. So we look at the problem, the real life situation. I read the question. The CEO of a certain construction company created a password to open his laptop such that if he forgets the password, the system could remind him of it by the statement, equation of a circle passing through the points of intersection of the circles S1 and S2. What is the CEO's password? Remember we're talking about a password, which means that it should be made of some characters. So what would be this CEO's password if his password is a question or the system reminds him with the statement, a question of a circle passing through the points of intersection of two circles, that's S1 and S2. We said the family of circles passing through the points of intersection of the circle S1 and S2 is given by the formula S1 plus lambda S2 equal to zero. Therefore, the CEO's password will be S1 plus lambda S2 equal to zero. So let's have this question for our assignment. Find the coordinates of the center and radius of the circle through the common points of the circles. We have the circle, the first circle, and the second circle, and passes through the points one, two. We have come to the end of this lesson, and the next lesson will be titled Finding the points of intersection of two circles. Una tege si, ma tege yop. Una tege minga, ma tege nyom. Una tege majang, ma tege ndom. Mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen. Ngani bana, ma tege mot. Ngani la kiri wa tege ndong. Esa kina bia jinki do. Mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen. Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninyane injubia yen